I'm Michael, voice over solution provider and the leader. Hi, I am Stephanie Masouding and I'll be doing the voiceover for the integral calculus equation. Hi, I'm Francis Andrew Kerban, member of Group 1, Cernelius team in Basic Calculus, and I am the PPT maker. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jesse Urbanius, and I am the PowerPoint creator. Thank you. And I am Hyacinth Billy Batan, the video editor of the group. Good day everyone and welcome to our video tutorial in solving differential and integral calculus equations. Our first example is the differentiation of 3x squared minus 5 times x squared minus 3x and we are going to use the product rule. Let f and g be differentiable functions, it follows that the product fg is also differentiable. Its derivative is given by this formula. Solution Step 1. Express y as a product of two binomials. y is equal to 3x squared minus 5 times x squared minus 3x. Step 2. Apply the product rule to find the derivative of y. You'll be able to see the formula and below the formula is the given. 3x squared minus 5 represents as f of x times x squared minus 3x represents as g of x and we will need to find the derivative of f of x and the g of x. The derivative of x squared minus 3x is equal to 2x minus 3, and the derivative of 3x squared minus 5 is equal to 6x. So we're going to multiply the derivative and it's given. So 3x squared minus 5 times 2x minus 3 plus x squared minus 3x times 6x. So we will get 6x cubed minus 9x squared minus 10x plus 15 plus 6x cubed minus 18x squared. So we will going to combine like terms. So we'll get 12x cubed minus 27x squared minus 10x plus 15. Therefore, the derivative of the function y is equal to 3x squared minus 5 times x squared minus 3x is equal to 12x cubed minus 27x squared minus 10x plus 15. This time, we are going to solve for the integral equations. We are going to solve for the antiderivative of this function given as the integration of quantity 6x squared minus 4x cubed and quantity 2x minus 5 dx. As we can see, it involves two binomials. And what we are going to do for the first step is to distribute them using the FOIL method. We will get negative 8x raised to the power of 4 plus 32x cubed minus 30x squared. This time, we can proceed to step 2 in which we will use the sum and difference rule of the antiderivatives of a function. The integration of negative 8x raised to the power of 4 dx plus the integration of 32x cubed dx minus the integration of 30x squared dx. Since this is integration, we are going to apply the reverse power rule in which we will add 1 to each exponent and do the same for the denominator. As we can see, negative 8x raised to the power of 4, we add 1 to its exponent which is 4 and did the same to the denominator. We copied 4 as the exponent and added 1. Same goes to the next terms. 32x raised to the power of 3 plus 1 all over 3 plus 1. Negative 30x squared add 1 to the exponent, then all over 2 plus 1, then plus c. Remember that c there represents our unknown constant number. Next is we are going to perform the operation. For that, we will get negative 8x raised to the power of 5 all over 5, plus 32x raised to the power of 4 all over 4, minus 30x cubed all over 3, plus c. We can notice that 32x raised to the power of 4 all over 4 can be simplified by dividing. So if we divide it, we will get 8x raised to the power of 4. And same goes to negative 30x cubed all over 3. Dividing it, we get negative 10x cubed. Therefore, our final answer is negative 8 over 5x raised to the power of 5 plus 8x raised to the power of 4 minus 10x cubed plus c. And this is the integration for the given problem. 
Alright, that ends our video tutorial. We hope you have learned something from this topic and we thank you so much for watching. Bye!